Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, we'll be looking into Reactive Flow APIs that is introduced in JDK 9. So let's get started. It's similar to the observer pattern. So like all the reactive programming, there will be like a publisher, which will be publishing or producing the item. It's like a producer consumer. So here we have the publisher who will be publishing or producing the item. And then you have the subscriber who will be subscribed to the publisher and will be getting the items from the publisher. Let's get started by creating a new project. So new project. I'll just choose Java and you can keep any JDK version above 9. I'll go for JDK 11. So once the project is ready, well, let's start by creating a main class. So this is your main function. Here we'll be getting started now. We'll create one more class called my subscriber. So for this we need to import one class. So I am defining my own subscriber. Once you implement subscriber interface from the flow APIs, now you can actually do control I to override these four methods. I'll be explaining what are these four methods. Now let's create two member variables that is private final string subscriber name which will be actually used for identifying this subscriber uniquely which is not a mandatory thing I'm just adding it so that I can identify my subscribers uniquely later also I'll create another member called subscription whenever a subscriber actually subscribes to a publisher this on subscribe method will be invoked which will be returning you a subscription object this object can be used for performing other actions like requesting for the next item etc so subscription actually acts like a link between the publisher and the subscriber and I'll also create my custom constructor the subscriber name is actually nothing it's just to identify the subscriber nothing else so it is not a mandatory thing now in the on subscribe method you can see the subscribe you can see an argument called subscription this is what I was talking about for each item that is received this method the on next net method will be invoked so here this subscription this is equal to the subscription that we get as an argument also we will request for the first item okay whenever the request is completed or fulfilled successfully the on next is being called so here we'll request for the next item as well as we'll print out the item here while printing this I'll just put it in try catch I will also print the thread name and this is just a thread name that I'm printing to show that it is happening in a different thread from the main thread so I'll print the thread name as well as the item we obtained and also we'll request for the next item once we process the number of items which we got.
okay in the error just I'm just printing out an error message and also we can do here we'll just give an exception message nothing else so coming to the final method that is the on complete method once you make a subscription to a publisher and the publisher is closed or once everything is done and the publisher is closing at that time once the publisher closes the on complete method is called okay and that's it now we are ready with our custom subscriber class which actually implements the subscriber interface okay now let's get started with the main program now i'll just create a simple object of the subscriber and you can give it some name i'll give it I'll give it subscriber one you can have multiple subscribers and then you need to create the publisher so this is actually a class that is provided for creating a publisher uh, you will pass integer because in this example we'll be just passing integers and you can call it my publisher or you can call it integer publisher equals new submission publisher okay now we'll actually create a list of integers now we have a list of integers then we have created an object for the subscriber and also we have an object for the publisher now we will actually iterate through the integer list okay now i'll just print out each item while we are pushing system.out.println and then i'll specify the thread name integer publisher dot submit and we are submitting the item so we just printed out before publishing and then actually we are also printing the thread name and then we are actually doing a submit we also need a sleep so 100 milliseconds I'll just leave it empty for the time being and we will be sleeping for 100 milliseconds and then we'll be publishing one item at a time and once everything is done we will actually close the integer integer publisher by calling the close method on it okay and for the time being actually I'll just comment this close method so that you can see actually how the on next method and the on complete method is being invoked okay so I'll just now give it a run and also I'll just have a while through an infinite loop here uh, this is for the reason because once you completes publishing this doesn't wait for the subscriber thread to complete so it is on a different thread and it has to be completed so we am just waiting for it to complete by giving an while true because it's a simple main function and it will immediately exit after publishing all the items now before running the program we actually need to subscribe to the publisher so integer publisher dot subscribe and then we will pass our subscriber object now we can go ahead and run our program here you can see it's actually publishing one item and it is getting the other item 
you can publishing one item and it's getting another item but the publishing is happening on main thread and this is actually a different thread from the main thread who is receiving it so that is actually what i said they both run on different threads so in case the main thread exits you will not be able to get the actual items so now you can actually see by making the change like i'm requesting for two items and also here i'll be requesting for two items at the time and then i'm going to run and here you can see the this on next method is getting printed on next method is getting printed for every item that is being received okay i'll just terminate and run it again so even though i am requesting two items per request but it doesn't really matter the thing is that the on next method will be invoked per item that is the first thing now you can see the on complete method was never invoked because you don't see the log there that is because we need to close it so after the submission is done we can actually close it once you see all the items are received the on complete is being called okay so that's all this is a basic introduction to the publisher subscriber apis also there is one more additional class called the processors which is actually part of the flow apis itself it has certain methods which is defined inside it which can help you transform the output of the publisher and do some processing like transformation of the output given by the publisher before being sent to the subscriber so it actually stands in between the publisher and the subscriber and do some processing before it is given to the subscriber i'll try to make a different video on it hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe thank you